Hey everybody, so in this lesson, what we're gonna try to do is figure out how are we going to get it so that when we draw lines at a certain width and when we change to circles, it will also give us the same width. So now my lines get thicker. If I go to circles, they stay the same. So what we're gonna need to do is use a variable to hold the number that we want both of those items to be. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a variable and making a variable is really easy and thunkable. You're just gonna go to variables and you're gonna hit initialize variable name. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, hey app, there is a variable and we're gonna call it width because that's what it is. And you should always try to name your variables based off of what they're going to be doing so that you know what you're putting together, just like how we rename our components. So I have this variable width and right now I'm just going to set it to 20. Now we have not done anything to the variable yet. We haven't said, hey, use this variable in any places. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, all right, you know, let's use this variable. And now you can see that after we initialize a the variable, there's a block for the variable here. So we have app width right here. And we can also set app width to different things. So what I wanna do is say, all right, what I wanna say is, hey, set the width to be the variable width, right? Now, if I test this, it's not going to respond because I never told the variable to change when uh, when we move this slider. So now what I need to do is tell the variable to change when we move the slider. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to the variable and I'm gonna say, hey, set this variable width to the value that the slider changes to. So if I hit live test here, I can go ahead and draw circles in this size. And then if I move it up, it will make it thicker. It'll change the width of the lines. Now let's say I wanted to change the width as the circle gets larger. Well, all I have to do is say, all right, also set the radius to whatever width is. So let's see what it looks like now. So now if I go to circles, uh, we draw here, we drawing really small circles. You can barely even see those. Um, and as the circles get larger, so does the width of the lines. So now we have it working. And if I go to line, we have thick lines too. Great. So now what we need to do is we need to also make sure that the color changes. So for example, right now, if I change the colors, uh, the lines change colors, which is great, but our circles always stay black. It doesn't matter what color, oh, black works. It doesn't matter what color I choose, right? The circle always stays black. So what do I need to do here? Well, I need to change this block here. So are we gonna use our width variable? No, because the width variable just spits out a number. So what we're gonna need to do is make a new variable and we can call it color. So I'm just gonna go to variables. I'm gonna make a new variable. I'm gonna call it color. And I'm gonna set the initial color to black because I think black is the a default color that pops up right now. So I'm gonna go to color here and I'm just gonna grab the black color here. Great. And now what I want to do is say, hey, every time you draw a circle, don't just draw a black colored circle, draw it whatever the variable color is. So I can go to variables now and we'll see there's another block here for the color variable. So now if I grab this app variable color and add it to color, will it work? No, it's not going to work. Why? Well, it's because I never change app color. So now what I need to do is for each button, I need to say not only change the stages drawing color, but also set this variable to the color that I want as well. So if I go to variables here, I can grab the set block and I can throw it in here and I can just use the drop down menu to change it to app color. And now all I need to do is grab this red color here and if it'll let me, it won't let me, so I'm just gonna grab the color straight from here. I will add this red color here. And now let's see if the red color works. So now if I go to my circles and I, it's black originally, if I click red, it changes to red. Your job is add this line of code to your other buttons, all right? And then in the next video, we'll be adding even more functionality to this app by adding more colors and more features. I'll see you in the next video.